Hello Shopify store owners and welcome. In this video, I want to show you how to do URL redirects. This will be useful if, if you did some changes to, uh, to a product, to a collection, to some pages, or also in the case that you're moving from another store or from another platform. If you're coming from WordPress, from Magento, the structure of the URL will be different on Shopify than what you used to have. So it's really important for SEO to not send your customers to a 404 page, a not found page. It's, it's important if you do know the URLs that you set them up in Shopify. So let's see how we can do it. Go in your admin panel, click on online store, then click on navigation and you have over here URL redirects. So what you can do, you, you have two options. If you have only a few URL redirects that you want to, to put in, just create the URL redirect. If not, you can also import. If you want to do the import, you just click over here on import and you can download the CSV template over here. So your redirect file, uh, CSV file will look something like this. You, you just need to provide your old URL and the new URL right here. That's pretty simple. And in this one, it's easier if you have uh, 50, 100 of them, you can just copy paste them here and then provide the new URL. So once that, once that is done, then you can just upload your file here and do import. In our case, let's go back to the URL redirect here and create a new URL. So if you're doing one by one, uh, all you need to have is your old URL over here. So you have your old URL. Let's just assume it's a .com and then where you want to uh, to put it. And, and because this is Shopify and it's your own platform, you don't need to always type your, um, your store URL. So for example, if you want to redirect to your uh, one of your product or in this example the collect collection you can just take this part and paste it into your redirect to and you hit save so this is this is created you can continue to add uh, more create another one you can view your redirects there's no need to add the http um, because this this URL redirect will work for the domain name that you have registered with your Shopify store. Uh, so we are assuming that is the same domain name that you had before on another store. Uh, if it's not the case, it should be. Um, that's how this is working. So if you had something else over here that it was uh, product and it's on WooCommerce, this, uh, this link will will still work with your new domain name but it will point to a 404 page so if somebody's trying to link to this with the redirect they will actually go to your redirect specify uh, url over here so that's how it works that's how you should implement it make sure we're talking about the same domain name and uh, this will fully work after you transfer also the domain name to your shopify store this is it again you can add one by one if uh, if you don't have that many or you can do uh, an import export of your urls if you have a bunch of them to do if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions also use the comments don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also please like the video if this was useful if you need help with your Shopify store, you need something specific, maybe a, a new design, you want to, to change something, you want to add a functionality, you want to create a private app, whatever you need, I have my own agency. I do some of the coding, I have a team of developer, I have a graphic designer, so we can definitely help you out with whatever you need. Also, we are located in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. So this means if you are from United States, you are from Europe, outside of Canada, we will be cheaper than any of the other agency that you are working with. So we provide you with great quality. I'm here to help you. I'm here to, to guide you and get you exactly what you want, but much cheaper than any other agency that, that you have. So this is our website. Just go to webso.ca. My agency is Webso Media. 
just go to our website you can request the code right there you can also send me an email directly to info at webso.ca or shopify at webso.ca and it will be my pleasure to help you out with any project you have with your shopify store thank you